Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are looking at combo charts, combo charts in Excel, which is basically two different chart types or chart styles within the one graph to display information. On the screen in front of you, you can see we've got a very simple table of information, which has a number of motor vehicle types, the total sales amount of those vehicles, and the profit margin. We want to display all of that information in a chart. And down below we have some examples of combo charts. The one on the left is a really simple beginner version of the combo chart and on the right obviously a lot more detailed and a lot more visually pleasing. So feel free to skip to the more advanced one if that's where you want to go. Otherwise um, learn about the how to get started and also later in the video we'll learn to get to that next steps and make the chart a little bit more appealing to our viewer. So let's get started. On the second tab I've got the information again and we'll start by creating our combo chart. Um, so the simple version is simply let's highlight the data. I'm going to go up to the ribbon, select insert, and in this case I'm going to select a bar chart. And this is the first bit of information we get. Um, I think we called this sales summary in the chart title, so simply highlight over the top, sales summary. And you can see we've got the sales of the vehicles and also the profit margin in orange, but because profit margin is percentage it's really really far down low, you can't even see it, so we are going to recreate this into a combo chart. So we're going to right click the chart, we're going to change the chart type and we have a few options here. And right down the bottom we have a combo chart. Now once we select this option you can see where the profit margin is and we've selected that it will be a line chart and the sales amount will be the cluster chart. But again, the profit margin will stay as a, just a solid line because you can't really see the differences between the percentages. So what we'll do is we'll select secondary access to now make the sales amount with the left axis and the profit margin on the right axis. Simply select OK. And now we have our new chart, which is pretty visually um, appealing in the way that you can see the data pretty clearly. Um, the sales amount, you can easily see which products are selling more. And the profit margin on the right hand side of the axis is again really easy to tell that you know which ones have the higher profit margin compared to the lower ones. Overall though, I personally don't like when these type of charts are crossing over. It sometimes distorts what you're looking at. So that's why I always like to have two separate sections in my chart and create a second advanced type of version where you have the sales of the vehicles and the profit margin separated, but also in the same chart. So you can actually easily clearly see the information, but it is separated and not crossing over like that first, uh, um, I guess, beginner version of the chart. So let's get started into the more advanced version of this chart. And before I do, um, please uh, subscribe to the channel if you if you like what you see, or hopefully you will like what you see further in the video, and uh, maybe select that like button as well. That would really help out. Thanks. So to get started with the more advanced chart, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy over the chart that we already have. And I'm actually going to do that twice. because the actual trick of the combo chart over here is it isn't actually one particular chart, it's two charts in one. So you can see that I can move the second part of the chart and I've got the original chart as well. So how I'm going to do this is I'm going to select the line portion or the profit margin portion in the top chart and delete and in the second chart I'm going to grab the sales amounts and delete that. So now I've got two separate charts. And now it's just a matter of 
merging these two charts together um, to make them visually how you'd like to see them. So I'll just minimize the profit margin chart and slowly take away some of the features I don't want to see. So I'm going to take away those grid lines by selecting the grid lines and deleting, selecting the axis and delete. And I won't need the headings because I will have it already in this one up above. So I'm going to delete that. And I'll also delete the heading. So now there's my profit margins. I'm going to select the line. I'm going to right click and add data labels. And now I'm going to again select the line. And to get a few more options up, I'm going to right click and format data labels. It now brings in a legend which will help us out with formatting. So I'll grab this over here and I will now go through the options we have. I'll select the line again to make sure I'm selecting exactly what I want to see. And I'm going to say I don't want to see a line, but I am going to want to see a marker. So there's a line and marker. I'm going to select the marker. And what I might do here is select the marker options and we'll do an automatic marker. That will bring a, a circle version of the dots. But what I might do is go back to the marker, select marker options and do a built in. And this is where I can select my own marker. I like the diamond, so I'm going to select that one, make it a touch bigger and uh, we'll leave it orange at this point. Grab the profit margin legend, bring it over to the right, and we'll just minimize this down. Now the second part is we'll get the other chart and we'll just make that one a little bit bigger by dragging it. We'll click inside and just drag it up. So we've allowed this space for more information to go on there. One thing to easily change the design of the chart if you're not that creative and, and I don't think I'm a creative type of person. So I'm going to go into this chart. You can see it's selected. Go up to chart design and there's a whole bunch of options there. And the option that we had in the uh, previous example was the one with the black background. Sometimes it's a little bit more slick with that darker background. And again, I'm going to take off the grid lines. I like to clean it up. Every Again, everything you do is your personal preference. So go ahead and do what you like. I'm also going to delete the axis again. And I'm going to drag that over. I'm going to make the chart just a little bit bigger. And I'm going to grab this legend and bring it over to the right hand side of the chart. Now I can instantly gra um, grab the other chart and drag it into the location. But at the moment it's got this white background, um, not quite as visually pleasing um, against the black background uh, in my opinion. So I'm going to select the chart. And again, the, the options in the legend here is based on what your selection is. So I'm going to go into there and say no fill and now you can see that the second chart has merged into the uh, into the first one so we'll grab the chart just make sure it's aligned properly and you can see each of those uh, profit margins is uh, under the uh, where, where they should be and we'll go into them and now it's got the black background we need to update the color of those data labels so I'm going to select the data labels go back up to home and change the color to white. And the same with the legend, I'm going to change that to a white font. I'm just going to make this a little bit smaller. Actually, I'm going to grab this particular part here and make it bigger. That's the in, inner, uh, inner chart within the chart area. And what I'll do there is now I've selected the inner section of the chart. I'm going to add a border, so I'm going to add a solid line and we'll make that a dark orange. 
and you can see we have it there. We'll also grab the legend, just bring it a little bit closer to the border. And also, now I've selected the entire chart, you can see the dots around the entire chart area. And I'm going to get rid of the border there and say no line. So now it looks like we've got one chart merged into one. I mean two charts merged into one. So now what I'm going to do is grab the original bar chart of sales just to make it get a little bit have a little bit more pop, I guess. We're just going to turn it into a 3D version. So we've got the bars here. We are going to again go through the legend of options here for the bars. And in the second one with the little uh, pentagon shaped icon, there's a 3D format option available. So mine was already selected, but you can use the down arrow. And by simply selecting an option, it will automatically change it. You can also change the width and height manually, but I'll just leave it at the standard six. And I'll get this, the, the headings of each of the products and we'll just change uh, the location of where they are. So in this instance, we will select the uh, the axis as we did before. We're going to go into this size and properties, uh, sorry, the, uh, the little axis options icon here. We'll go down to labels and distance from axis gives us a chance to move the axis as far down or as high as we like. So I'm going to bring it down say from 100 to 600 that brings it pretty low I'll just re assess where I've got the other chart by moving it into a good location and in the other chart here I, I didn't really have a um, a legend as such for the sales section I've had a, I have a, a big sort of indicator down below here so Again, we've got the, the legend here. I don't really like that, so I'm going to delete. And what I'm going to do is insert a text box. So I'm going to go over to insert, go over to text, and put a text box in here. Write it anywhere we like. And I'm going to call this sales amount. And now I will format this sales amount text box. Firstly, I will make it a uh, white background. <clears throat> I will also color the entire background the same color as the bars. So we'll make it that sort of blue. And now I'm just gonna simply drag it over under where it is and put it out into that sort of location just under where the bar charts are. So we can really tell what the blue bars represent. I'm just going to make that into the center. We'll change it to a little bit of a smaller color uh, font to nine and put it into the center. So now we've got the sales amount in there as well. Now we've made this orange in this instance um, for the profit margin. So we might just put add a little bit of orange to the bar chart. So we're going to go into that axis section again. And you can see the axis is selected. I'm going to go to the color options. I'm going to change the line color into a solid line and we'll change it into a orange color. We might make it a little bit darker orange to match the orange below. It's a little bit too dark, so we'll select it again. And there we go. So now it's, it more closely resembles the, the chart below. And we are getting very, very close. The other combo chart just had a little bit of color in the profit margin section. So I'm going to select the inner section of the chart here. And we'll put in a fill. So the color icon's already selected. We'll put a solid fill in here. We'll leave it at blue, but what we'll do is we'll change the transparency all the way down to maybe uh, somewhere close to 80. And there we go. So now we have the chart area. We can see that uh, it's not quite in the middle from the highest to the lowest. So we'll, we'll change that by selecting the chart again. And we're gonna go up into chart design and add a chart element. We'll, we'll add 
a vertical axis and now we can select that axis and modify it to our fit and our, ours, our markers seem to fit between 6 and 25 so I am going to go to the axis options and change that um, percentage from 0 to 0.5 which is 50% to, uh, to 0 and 0.3 because it will just make it a little bit more centred up Again, that looks um, like it's changed a little bit too far. It's automatically changed the minimum to minus 0.2, so we'll change that to zero and press OK. Now it's offline because we now have the axis in there, so I'm going to select this axis again and just press delete. That'll delete the axis. And now we have the profit margin down here. We have the sales up above. We're going to add the sales values in here because we took out those grid lines, so I'm going to, I've clicked onto the bars themselves. I'll right click, add data labels, and they're sitting above horizontally. I'm going to change it um, to vertical, so I'm going to select those data labels, go into alignment, and you can see horizontal is selected. And again, you can always change these options here if you can't find exactly what you're looking for. It gives you all the options. I'm going to change the alignment to uh, vertical there we go sorry and just drag that to make it a little bit smaller so we don't lose um, our data labels behind the heading so there we go we are a lot closer to that more visually pleasing cluster or combo chart now, obviously you can see the time taken is a lot more than the original one, but sometimes if you really want to impress and you've got that presentation, you, you, you want to show the data a little bit more, you know, with a little bit more pizzazz, this is the way to do it. Um, and I'll just slightly change one last thing, which is the heading. The heading, when you use an actual chart element uh, and, and have the chart title, it limits what you can do with that chart title. You can't expand it. Um, it's it's sort of lit, uh, linked to the chart itself and the, and the wording you have. So I'm going to delete that by selecting it and pressing delete and simply go into insert and I'm going to insert another text box. The text boxes just gives you a little bit more freedom to do what you like. So I'm going to open up here and we'll call it sales summary. I'm just going to select that and reformat it. Put it into the center, center it again, change the font to, maybe we'll leave the font as black. Um, we'll change it to 18. We'll just expand it to make it a little bit bigger. And we'll go back into the format shape uh, legend on the right hand side. If the legend's not there, say you've disappeared and it's not there, you simply have to click on any part of the chart and right click format object. So this time it's got it's grabbed the um, the text box. So I'll add a solid fill there. This time we'll make it a I'll leave it at blue, but again I'll change that transparency back down to maybe 68. That looks pretty good. Maybe it's not quite as bright as what I like, so I'll change that to a maybe a, a simple a simple white. And there we go. So very, I won't say very quickly, but reasonably quickly, we've been able to change and update a standard combination chart or a combo chart into a more visually pleasing, professional looking combo chart here. Hopefully you've learned some skills. You don't have to do it exactly like I have feel free to use your creative um, expertise or your, your, your flair and make it exactly how you like. So hopefully you've enjoyed what you've seen today and I'll uh, see you again in another video. Thanks.